Hi there. Now, this is an alternative version to one I showed you in a previous video where we've got to find the exact value of a for which g of a equals the inverse of g of a. In the previous video, I showed you how we could relate the inverse function to the original function graphically as a reflection in the line y equals x. But in this video, I'm just going to take another approach where we work out what the inverse function of g of a is and then equate the two and work out what a is. Okay, so first of all then, to get the inverse function of g of x, what we do is we let any x value in here equal y, and I, in place of g of x, I just call it x. So I say let x equal y plus 1, and that's divided by y minus 2. And we rearrange this to make y the subject. So in order to do that, I'm just going to multiply both sides by y minus 2, and that's going to give me x times y minus 2, which is going to give me xy minus 2x, and then I'm just going to be left with y plus 1 on the right. And then if I, say, subtract y from both sides, bring that to this side, and add 2x to the other side, I'm going to get xy minus y, which I can factorize, by the way, by pulling out a y. And so that leaves me with y bracket x minus 1. And that's going to leave me with the 1 plus 2x. So I can divide now through by x minus 1. And that leaves me with y equals 1 plus 2x. And that's all divided by x minus 1. And that means that I'm in a position now to state what the inverse function of g of x is. So therefore, the inverse function of g of x is going to be 1 plus 2x all over x minus 1. So we've got 1 plus 2x all over x minus 1. So now I'm in a position to start to form this equation here. So if I was to say, when g of a equals the inverse of g of a, then substituting a into here, we've got a plus 1 over a minus 2. So therefore, a plus 1 divided by a minus 2 equals. And then substituting a into here, we've got 1 plus 2a all divided by a minus 1. And so therefore, if I multiply throughout by a minus 2 and a minus 1, I therefore have a plus 1 here multiplied with a minus 1. And that's going to equal the 1 plus 2a multiplied with the a minus 2. So all we need to do now is just expand the brackets. And expanding the brackets, I can see here we've got a squared, and then we're going to get minus a plus a, so they cancel, minus 1. So a squared minus 1. And then that's going to be equal to, and on this side, we're going to get a, let's just expand this, like a, and then we're going to get minus 2, and then uh, plus 2a squared, and then we've got minus 4a. And tidying this up, let's uh, start with a positive a squared term. So I'm going to bring everything over to the right hand side. And that leaves me with 2a squared minus a squared, which is a squared. And then I can see I've got a minus 4a, which is minus 3a. And then if I add 1 to both sides, I've got minus 2 plus 1, which is minus 1 and that will equal 0. And this quadratic equation doesn't factorize. We're going to need to use the quadratic formula. should realize that, really, because there's a clue here when it says find the exact value of a. So therefore, using the quadratic formula, we get that a equals this coefficient of a, the negative of it, I should say. So it's going to be minus minus 3, which is 3, plus or minus the square root of minus 3 all squared. 
and then minus 4 times coefficient of a squared there which is 1 times the constant at the end there minus 1 and that's all divided by 2 times the coefficient of a squared there 1 and if we clean this up we've got 3 plus or minus the square root of you've got 9 plus 4 so that's going to be 13 and it's all divided by 2 now you can see there's two answers for a here, 3 plus root 13 over 2, or 3 minus root 13 over 2. But it does say find the exact value of a, so it does suggest there's only one value. And we know that that value has got to be greater than 3. Okay, so I'm just going to put here that since x, which is equal to a, has to be greater than 3, then it can't be the negative version here 3 minus root 13 because root 13 is 3 point something so 3 minus 3 point something is going to be a negative number and so it must mean that therefore we take the positive version so therefore a is going to be equal to 3 plus the square root of 13 and that's all divided by 2 and that's my exact value for a okay